Hi, we're going to talk about catalysis. So a catalyst is simply a substance that's going to increase the rate of the reaction so the entire rate will go faster by decreasing the activation energy. Uh, so I'm going to start actually in this bottom corner, the bottom left hand corner, um, to show you an activation energy diagram. So you're familiar with this. Notice the purple, this is going to be uncatalyzed, just a regular reaction without a catalyst. Um, so you start with your reactants and products. Um, here is your transition state, that um, spot where reactants, the bonds break, and then bonds form for the products to come together. Um, and then here's the energy released from the stability of those new products, and you form products C and D. Um, so from uh, where we begin to that apex, that activation, um, activated complex, the transition state, that's the energy you have to put into it, minimum energy required for reactants to change to products. Okay, now we're going to add a catalyst and look at what happens. This activation energy, so that's my pink color here, um, that's the catalyzed. Um, so the activation energy is lower, is lower. And often when you look in books um, and they're showing the catalyzed activation energy, they'll do these humps. They look like camel humps. Sometimes you'll even see like five little waves. Um, what that is indicating is actually these two things right here. Our idea of how um, catalysts lower that activation energy. Um, and it really comes in two different forms. Number one, it changes the pathway. It changes the way bonds are broken and bonds are formed. Think about this, you're going to put on your shoes. Um, how do you put on your shoes? I put on one shoe, tie it, a second shoe, tie it. So that would be my pathway. Now if I change that, maybe I put on one shoe, put on a second shoe, then I go tie, and then I tie. That would change the pathway. Now I begin the same, and I end the same, but the pathway in between is different. So the idea is there's a different pathway, and that's why you see those little bumps. The way bonds break, the way bonds form, um, that changes. Uh, second is that somehow it stabilizes that transition state. We know that the transition state where reactants um, change to products, super unstable, extremely fast. We can't even get data, it's so fast. Um, if you do that, let me know, and I'll go to your Nobel Prize award. Um, so here, uh, it could be that it stabilizes it, therefore requiring less energy. Now, the huge, huge impact is that overall, the entire reaction is going to go faster. Because it takes less energy, you put energy in, it goes faster, faster, faster. Um, it takes less time to get to that, that lower amount of energy that's required when the reaction is catalyzed. <clears throat> so that's how you would look at it graphically. Um, so again, as I go through these classes of catalysis, catalysis you're going to see these two things. Um, it's the idea that the activation energy is decreased by either changing the pathway that reactants break and then products are formed, or by um, stabilizing that transition state. Um, so there are three classes of catalysis that you'll want to be familiar with. Um, the first one is acid-base. So this is a reactant either gains or loses um, a proton, which changes the reaction rate. Um, here, surface catalysis. This one um, is going to be close to home because we drive cars. Um, this is going to be for cars, automobiles. Um, it's going to be the catalytic converter. Uh, we don't want to put terrible fumes into our environment. And so the fumes that are coming out of the car, they'll first go over across a catalytic converter that has like palladium, um, palladium in it. And it makes the reaction quickly um, happen so that the gas fumes that come out of the car are going to be less dangerous. Um, this reaction happens to have a different product come out of the car. Um, so catalytic converters, that would be an example of surface, surface catalysis. So here is just by having a metal, so let's say platinum this time, um, a reaction happens over platinum, and um, here's our thought. Um, it either creates a new intermediate, that would be these bumps, okay? A different pathway of reactants changing to products, or um, the, it increases the probability of successful collisions. Um, and you know the more collisions we have, greater probability that you'll have um, reactants hit with proper orientation, and so that increases the rate. Uh, so again, surface catalysis, this is just by having reactants touch that, um, that catalyst, and it either um, changes the way reactants are broken, bonds are formed, gets a new intermediate, 
or it increases the um, successful probability of collisions. Okay, the last one, enzyme catalysis. So this is all, all biological systems. You and I function because of enzymes. Whenever you hear the word enzyme, bio, uh, let's see, biology. Okay, so biology. Um, enzyme catalysis. Whenever you hear that word enzyme, you want to think immediately, oh, that's just a catalyst in a living organism. That's all, that's all. It's a, um, enzymes are just catalysts inside of living things. Um, so a couple of thoughts on this, and it's really a repeat of what you've already heard. Here it is first. So some enzymes increase reactions by binding to the reactant. So this would be um, an enzyme binding to the substrate in a way that lowers the activation energy. Um, second thing, other enzymes react with reactants to form new reaction intermediates. And again, that would be the way bonds are broken, the way bonds are formed. Um, little reminder on this. Um, so let's say that you have your substrate that looks like that. And then you have an enzyme. It's going to be this perfect lock and key, like putting a key into your lock at home. That's what happens with enzymes. You'll have this substrate and the enzyme will come fit just perfect. And it is either going to um, create a new pathway, so it decreases the activation energy, or just by binding to it, it decreases the activation energy. Um, and it's because of enzymes that, again, you and I function. We have all kinds of enzymes inside of our body that decrease activation energy, so reactions can happen fast inside of our bodies. Um, excuse me. So, big takeaway on catalysts. They increase the rate, so a reaction is going to go faster by decreasing the activation energy. Um, and the two big reasons for that are, it either changes the pathway that the reactants are broken, bonds are formed, or it stabilizes that activated complex so the entire reaction can go faster. All right, nice, way cool. Love that we have catalysts. Have a great day. If you have other questions on activation energy, anything with rate, look under my playlist on rate. Thanks.